today I'm going to take a look at a fur or thermal camera. This is a camera that shows the heat signature of everything it sees. I already have a small month for checking 3D printer heated bed. And even the open thermal camera, a small open source one that attaches to my phone. But neither of those are accurate enough for what we want to do today. Fever screening. Ever since the SARS outbreak in Asia years ago, most airports and border crossings have thermal cameras. If there's an outbreak of something and you try to cross over the border with a fever, they'll see you and customs officials will take you for additional screening. Nothing sinister, just take your temperature with something more accurate. Run additional tests and take you to the hospital if that's necessary. Now, of course, you're never going to get a perfectly accurate reading from a distance. And there are always asymptomatic carriers. But the idea is that by reducing the number of people actively shedding viruses in any environment, you reduce the number of people they can infect. If you take a bus with 50 people on it and fire carriers, many more people will be infected than if you only have one carrier on the bus. Everywhere you go right now in Shenzhen, shopping malls, subways, offices, factories, there are thermal cameras and IR thermometers taking your temperature a dozen times a day. Not because we'll be able to spot every single carrier, but because it will spot many of them and the more you can isolate, the slower the virus can spread. While some of you might be uncomfortable looking to China, fever screening has been a key part of bringing COVID-19 under control in South Korea, Japan, and Singapore. It's just one really good tool in a larger toolbox we use to fight this virus. But you need the right tool, and my little thermal cameras aren't accurate enough to do it. So today, I'm going to review the Unix T165K. It's a thermal camera that is designed and optimized specifically for fever screening. My friends Lee Moore and Phil at Adafruit asked me to buy a few different models and send it to them express. Adafruit has been asked by New York to open up and fill orders for some special electronics that are needed in the fight against COVID-19. For the Adafruit workforce, Good protections include gloves, masks, and protocols. They also are using fur cameras as an evidence-based way to do fever and temperature screening. Once Adafruit fully tests and evaluates different models, they are going to be offering them for sale to schools and business, so things can slowly get back to normal. Adafruit is also making DIY guides for how to make your own thermal screening tools. Most importantly, it's documentation. Adafruit is a step better than anyone, and using this in a scientific way is the only way to really benefit. You can't just go waving this around at random. There are protocols you need to follow if you want to be effective. I'm going to unbox this and take a look. Unfortunately, I'm still under home quarantine, so I won't be able to walk a cloud of people past it. But I'll see what I can come up with to demonstrate it properly. Well, I have a surprise for Lee more and Phil because it seems like the instructions are all in Chinese. I better figure out all this before I send it out to them. Uh, but I'm sure they have some Chinese speaking employees too. Okay, I'm going to use this thermometer to test my temperature so that I could see how accurate it is when I use the other third camera. And on the third camera, I am going to set the language to English because now it is in Chinese. 
if you if you decided to buy one and don't know how this is the setting icon you click set and go to the first option and there's English so you can set the day and time and it comes with this small uh, the, this little SD card you can put it in and record images day and time temperature unit alert measurements temperature unit so uh because this fur camera is sending uh off to america and american use fahrenheit so i'm going to set it to fahrenheit so it turns out this uh third camera actually works just out of the box so in the instruction it says when you turn it on after it warms up in 10 to 15 minutes you can just point it at any people and then uh it will work it doesn't have a lot of um, complicated uh, procedure you need to do before you do this and uh, after I measure my temperature I'm going to mirror the image from the uh, floor camera to my laptop they have this option in the USB mode and USB camera means oh that's my 35.6 I don't think that's accurate okay I'm gonna try again on the other okay it is done and it says 36.1 this time it's more accurate so now I'm going to use the thermal camera uh, to point at me and then mirror it in the in my, on my laptop okay i just downloaded the software from their website so that i can mirror the image from the uh, floor camera to my laptop Okay, that's 99 Fahrenheit. That's a bit of a fever that's somebody you definitely want to check out. Even in the winter with a jacket on, all you need to get the reading, it's a face. Okay, I'm impressed. If you have a school or business, of course, hand washing, social distance, and masks always come first. But this is definitely something you'll want to think about to help you get back up and running while still protecting your people. Keep an eye on my friends at Adafruit. They'll be posting how-to guides and DIY kits. They're also an American manufacturing company. They build electronics right in the heart of New York City. So they'll probably have some really good tips on how you can get back to work safely when the time is right. That's it for today. I hope all of you that should be staying at home are. We can beat this together. Until next time, remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.